My mother-in-law told me to stop at the store. She had a list for me of things to get. So, um, it looks from the list like she's going to be baking some cookies. She told me to get brown sugar, but I don't know the difference in golden brown, light brown, and dark brown. So I just stuck with a happy medium. So hopefully that works out. Hi, hi, hi baby, hi. Mom, you gave me a lot of money for those couple items. You know that, right? <laughs> well, you don't know what, Mom? <laughs> you wanna eat, eat, cause you see I got food? Can you help me bring some stuff in the house? Raisa, bring it in the house. Can you do this one? Take it to the kitchen. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, go. Take it. Take it all the way to the kitchen. Come on, you got it. Go. Ooh. Typically, I'm glued to my house, so my mother-in-law encouraged me to go and get my nails done. So that was really cool. I went and got my nails done, and it feels amazing. It's been way too long. Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. It's Raina Rose back with another video. And as you can see, I am so excited because your girl is finally about to get this wig snatched, okay? Like, since we moved to Arizona, when did we move? It's been about two months now. So I've been looking like this for two months. Like, it's been so much with buying the house. Um, the apartment situation was a hot mess. And now, to purchase in our home and then jumping straight into renovations y'all i kind of forfeited everything i forfeited christmas i forfeited my birthday because i wanted my house done and obviously that's quite expensive so i told my husband like i forfeit everything to have this done so that is why i've been looking a hot mess nails haven't been done hair hasn't been done but your girl's getting it together and thank you to my mother-in-law because with my husband working so much and we've yet to find a sitter or anything in our area that we trust and want watching race since my mother-in-law's here she's wa home watching all the kids and she told me to go and take care of myself so i'm about to go and get my hair done get one last look at this okay <laughs> Yes, your girl don't have to look like this no more. Your girl don't have to look like this no more. Your girl don't have to look like this no more. This is me when the braider took down my hair after I told her I was uncomfortable paying $260 for braids that big. It is 3.50. I've been in that shop since 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. How is that even possible? The lady said they had lollygagged around didn't start my hair until like 1 30 and then started my hair and literally tried to be like so lazy about doing it and then start cutting the hair that i bought and then still charge me for a wash and blow dry and it's just i'm just so frustrated because i don't get time away from the kids and i got time away from them i just wanted to do something for myself <laughs> I'm one of those people that when I get angry, I cry. I don't know why, because like you can't act out in the world angrily. So I cry for some reason. I'm not sad. I'm just mad. I'm so frustrated. Like I could have been doing so many things. And I turn 28 tomorrow. I'm going to be looking like this. And Brett is not here. I'm just so frustrated. I'm just going to go home and... <sighs> fix my house I'm one of those what you gonna do about it cry or boss up I'm gonna do both type of people so I guess this is how I'm going into 28 and I cry and now I'm gonna go set up my bar that I got for my birthday oh my god Thank you, Jesus. Mom, After three Mom. hours, look at my hair. And what happened? Yeah. After three hours, Mom, you see my eyes? Mom, I was crying hi. so hard. She didn't Mom, start my hair till 1.30. And then when she finally Mom, started my hair, she like Mom, was like cheating Mom, it and doing like big Mom, braids this fat. So Mom, I told her like, I don't feel comfortable paying 260 for braids that fat. Then she just starts cutting the hair Mom. that I bought. And then she's like, why don't we just reset why don't you come back another day and charge me 45 dollars still for a wash 
-hmm. after I was here. Yeah. That whole. Wow. <laughs> it's the same as when I left. Mommy. And my birthday is yeah. tomorrow. Mommy. And I have to go into 28 like this. Wow. Mommy. Wow. Well, you're yeah. still beautiful. Can we build a fucking lion? <laughs> Can we build my bar, mom? Please. Yeah. Can we build my bar and act like we're at a bar <laughs> and drink? <laughs> and drink whiskey. Hi. 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 What's wrong? <laughs> Ross, what's wrong? Your hair looks the same. No, it doesn't. You don't see how she fixed it? Yeah. Huh? Hello! <laughs> Mine is the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> left five hours. You like my hair? I love it. Mama. I, I, I leave mom with the kids for... Four hours, and she yeah. needs some champagne. <laughs> you like my hair? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Mom, we actually do have um, orange juice. Do you want what orange juice? Yes, I do. Okay. Raj. Mom wants some mimosa. Cheers to 28. I didn't get my hair done, but I got this bar, and this bar is incredibly nice. So me and mom are about to try to put it together. Really p.m. I just left my house um, from building my bar it's pretty much complete I just had to left my neighbor to install the drawers um, but this lady has to do my hair it is not okay the way that she left my hair it's not okay the way she did me the way that I had an appointment time I was there at my appointment time and she had me waiting for an hour and a half before even beginning it's not okay that she cut the hair that i purchased <laughs> and you, are you gonna refund me for that no she did not none of it is okay so i'm back and i'm going to demand that she finishes my hair period okay may you please call the manager you came in you came in like oh i like her can you do my hair well i like her hair with my hair like I didn't see. I didn't see the hair. I figured that you were. I I saw what you can do. That you're a good braider. That's why I asked for you to braid my hair today. I feel like with certainty you were being a bit like lazy or just wanted to get it done fast with how thick you did the braid. I know, but you have to do it based on the picture that I show you what I asked for. You can't just go on what's on. I don't know what your computer is. I, I showed you what I wanted. And then you did something like, wait, uh, I'm so glad that you didn't finish the entire head. That would have looked ridiculous on my face. Hey. It's 
10.30 p.m. and I'm just now finishing with my hair. Hi, baby. Okay, y'all, so when I got back to the salon, um, the lady basically said that she has to go to her family and refuse to do my hair. The manager ended up having another person to do my hair. Um, because it was late, the lady was like, if you can just pick a simple style, I'll do it for you. And then you can come and get your hair done another day. I'll insert the style that I asked for versus what I got. And it's just really ridiculous and it's just really sad for me because like not only did I spend my entire day there, my mother-in-law spent her entire day with the boys and they're a lot. I'm sure she would love to spend time with them, but after all the work that she's done and only expecting to watch them for three hours and then to have to watch them all day after everything is just unfair to her. It was unfair to me. It was a terrible experience given it was my first time. This style is nothing I would ever wear. My husband's going to be absolutely unimpressed with it. My husband would not ever want me to wear my hair like this. Like, it does not represent him well. He does not... He won't be into it by any means at all. He likes a lot more feminine look than this. And he just will be honestly probably embarrassed of the style, if I'm honest. But that's that, y'all. Uh, nevertheless, I turn 28 tomorrow, and I'm blessed for that. And I thank God for that. And I don't want to come off as ungrateful for that. But today was stressful.